Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got us another big 16 ounce can from Single Cut Beer Smiths. Uh, they're up in New York. This was sent to me by my brother Rico. Uh, he sends me a lot of these guys, uh, these breweries, this brewery's beers. And they do a pretty impressive job here. Now this one, this one is their double dry hopped 18 watt session IPA. And usually the session beers are categorized at 5% or less. Usually they're less. This one comes in at 5%. So that's, to me, that's the maximum to be called a session. But there are some sessionable beers that are 5.5, 5.7. Uh, once you start getting above 5%, I don't really consider them session beers. Uh, depends on how tolerant you are for alcohol and, and what you're wanting to drink and, and go back to doing what you were doing if you're just not sitting down and sessioning, session, easy for me to say, sessioning a bunch of beer just to get shit faced or drunk. Uh, so, and I don't do that anymore guys. I don't session beers uh, like you guys know they've been doing following me for a while. Uh, my thing is I don't drink the same beer twice in the same day. And I don't drink a lot of beers in the same day. Uh, my maximum is usually four, and usually it's not that many, two to three. Uh, especially if I start off with a five percenter, and then a seven percenter, and then a eight, nine, ten, or bigger beer to finish up the evening with, and I'm done. I'm, I'm absolutely done. So uh, I don't drink beer to get drunk anymore, guys. That's just the way it is. Now, when I do some bigger beers, you know, some of these Avery beers and some of these other ones that are 15, 18, 20 percent, yeah, you're going to get a buzz. There's just no way around it, even if you just drink, drink one. Uh, so let's get on with this one. We don't have to be a 30-minute video here on this. And like I said, uh, Rico sent me this, and he writes, uh, Single Cut Double Dry Hopped 18 Watt Session IPA 5%. IPA with 86 IBUs according to their label, canned on December the 5th of 2017. Said he bought a four pack of this and it was $19.99, 20 bucks. Uh, I reviewed the regular version of this last year, guys. Uh, this one is the double dry hop version. So let's see if there's any taste here or if I like it more, less, same, whatever. As uh, far as commercial description, Untap says the bar just got raised 18 watt the session IPA that raised expectation on what a 5% ABV, ABV brew could be just got even more intense with a second dry hop for just plain more. M-O-A-R. More, more, more. Everybody wants more now. So uh, that's all we need to talk about on this one. So let me mark this on here lay this aside and let's get into this one here guys uh, we got the ABV and today is the 30th of December so it's not even a month old yet guys uh, while I pour this let's get this thing popped open first beer of the day for me and into the glass we go it's pretty cloudy coming out here Cuisine is curried in a Thai cheese is pepper, Monterey pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, lemon burger, and meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. And I will add real meat to that. Last part of pint back and on, tumbler mug, side side dell. I'm using my favorite uh, tulip glass here. Solid beer glass, guys. And not recommended for a salary. It's a 5% beer, plus it's a hoppy beer on top of that. So, two reasons why you shouldn't. Uh, 
right down the center on that we got uh, maybe a quarter finger of head it is a darker orange juice colored beer guys it does look like a, a juice bomb if you will it's not that bright orange color like orange juice it's a little darker than that uh, very cloudy guys very very cloudy looks like a dirty orange juice if you will but I would still consider this a, a juice bomb probably with the color definitely unfiltered so let's get your nose to it very nice hot presence got pine pineapple grapefruit oranges and maybe a hint of some tropical fruit notes in there smell very good so let's dive in cheers everybody cheers Rico my brother Very tasty. Not off the chain with the hops, uh, with the IBUs. Uh, what did I tell you it was? The IBUs being 86. It's kind of high for a single IPA. And I'm getting that strong bitterness on the back. So. Uh, Still a very tasty beer though guys. Uh, I don't buy a lot of 5% beers. I don't buy obsession beers usually. I do review them when people like Rico and other people send them to me. Alcohol is super well hidden. Tastes like your standard double dry hopped IPA. Uh, if you didn't know you were drinking a 5% you would probably think it was a little bit bigger looking at the color and the taste and uh, doesn't seem to be too thin or watery on the palate. But you can tell it's a lower ABV beer. I can't, I, you know, a lot of people probably can't. For as much hops has been used in this, um, all those aromas and tastes are there, but they are knocked down just a slight notch, uh, being a five percenter. But it does have the IBUs at 86. It's it's there. Well, let me dump the back end of this in here. I don't see how it could possibly change the color any, and it hasn't. Still so looks like a, like I said, a dirty orange juice. It is orange juice colored, but it's a little darker than your typical bright orange juice colors that a lot of juice bombs have. So, well, let's ride out of the fridge. Let's sip on it and see where this one ends up, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Tasty beer, guys. Not off the chain, not world class, not outstanding. Very decent, though, for a New England style session beer. Double dry hopped on top of that. Very nice aroma. I think it's a little heavy on the IBUs for a 5% session beer. Still very enjoyable. Nice tropical fruit notes, oranges, pine, grapefruit, maybe a little dankness to it. For a session beer, pretty tasty. Not super thin or watery like a lot of those are. Nice hot presence being a double dry hop. Very enjoyable, final joke. I enjoyed this, it's very tasty guys. To me, it's an A, I'm gonna give it an A minus. Uh, 92 is where I'm gonna put this guys. Pretty tasty beer. Uh, over to Bear Advocate. They say 4.27, that's in their A minus range also. And over to Untapped, Untapped has it at 4.23. And you gotta grade those guys on the curve. That's pretty close to their A category. Uh, a minus A borderline right there. So I'm just gonna say A minus on that. So it's pretty close to what Beer Advocate has and what I'm giving it to. Let's just say A minus all the way around on this one, guys. Pretty close to an A. For a session beer, for what it is, gotta realize you're not drinking a seven, eight percenter or whatever. Uh, pretty tasty. I enjoyed this, Rico. Thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate it, sir. Got all right, guys. If you've uh, if you've had the double dry hopped version of the 18 watt uh, session IPA, let me know what you think. And until we meet again.
Let's go see what's in the fridge.